Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So I've seen lot of our subscribers. They don't run Docker on the local machine, but they spin up a virtual machine on the cloud platform, maybe AWS, Azure or GCP. On the cloud platform, they install Docker. Through Docker, they spin up or they run their three tier architecture application or maybe a large language model or multiple containers that takes lot of resources. The reason is very simple. What I noticed, they do this because they don't have enough resources on the local machine. They might have resources to run one or two containers or maybe few containers, but when dealing with a three tier architecture application with 50 plus microservices or maybe while working with AI agents and if they want to run large language model through a container, their local machine does not support it. So for this reason, they use SSH, the SSH to the virtual machine and they spin up virtual machine of required resources. The major drawback with this approach, it is not an integrated experience. So every time you need to SSH to the virtual machine and you also need to maintain this virtual machine. You have to take care. You stop this virtual machine. You start it when you need. This is not a good user experience. Docker realized this problem. Docker understood a lot of people are facing this issue. So they came up with something called Docker offload. Let me tell you, this is a game changing feature from Docker. I would consider this is one of their best features that they recently launched because using Docker offload, now you don't have to spin up a virtual machine, SSH to the virtual machine. Instead, on your local machine, you just need to install Docker desktop. And through Docker desktop, just by running a single command or switching a toggle, you can connect to Docker cloud. Or basically you can offload your containers to run on Docker cloud. And this comes with a seamless experience because you just need to switch a toggle and rest is taken care by Docker. Although the containers are running on the Docker cloud, you still feel that you are running these containers on the local machine because of the experience that you get with Docker offload. You can do the same thing just like connect to the Docker desktop on your local machine. You can run Docker PS, you can run Docker images. Using Docker desktop as well, you can check the running processes on your machine. Now the biggest advantage with Docker offload, Docker also supports GPUs. That means now you can also use Docker on your local machine to work with large language models, or if you are someone working with AI agents, this experience is also going to be seamless. Let me quickly show you how to use Docker offload. And then I will also show you a very short tutorial to explain how you can run containers on the Docker cloud. So basically you need latest version of Docker desktop. Make sure you have version 4.43 or above. So you can check the version bottom right. So this is where you can see the version of Docker. Perfect. So this is a Docker desktop version. And then you have a toggle here. So right now I'm using Docker. All the containers are running on my local machine. But when I switch this toggle, it says start Docker offload. And here you can see that I don't have any containers or I don't have any images running at this point. So by switching the toggle, I'm now connected to Docker offload. Although you can also do it through the terminal. So if you want to do it through the terminal, you just need to run Docker offload start. Now when you run this command, it asks you to confirm the Docker account that you want to use. Okay, this is my Docker account. Do you need GPU support or you don't need GPU support. So if you are using anything related to large language models or if you need GPU support to run your containers, you can change this to yes. 
or if you're working with simple software applications maybe they are using good amount of resources but still if they don't need gpu you can choose the option no okay let me select yes so now you have docker cloud like your new context is docker cloud you can also check that using docker context ls so you can see the star icon here which says right now my context is docker cloud and now i have a dedicated gpu instance which is typically nvidia l4 gpu so i can just run the containers here so i will execute the command docker run hyphen hyphen rm so just after the process is run i'm asking to stop the container hyphen hyphen gpus because you know i want docker to use the power of gpus so you can just say hyphen hyphen gpus all hello world now what happens with this command so now a container is run although i don't have a gpu enabled machine but still this container is running on the docker cloud so you can see now if i just change it so there is a image that is running hello world i don't see the containers running because i used hyphen hyphen rm once the process is run container is stopped so that's why it says no containers found if you are running a process a long running process you can also see the containers here now the best part is you can switch any time between docker offload or docker cloud and your regular docker environment that is your local machine in case you have a laptop that does not support running any resources at all probably you have a 4 cpu 4 gb uh, laptop you can install docker desktop there is no problem with it and switch the toggle and just continue to use the docker cloud environment it is as simple as it you can also stop it through the terminal again very simple just to docker offload stop are you sure you want to stop docker offload session yes so it will destroy everything at this point now if you want to use docker offload it's very simple right now it's in the beta so i'll provide the link in the description just click on sign up for beta and provide your details you will get access to the beta of course there are a lot of people who might be applying for it but still give it a shot trust me docker offload is something that you should definitely try also i would recommend you to go through the docker offload documentation i have covered the most important things but still there are few things that are pretty important to go through for example once you sign up for docker offload you get 300 free gpu minutes which is quite good like if you are running uh, large language models and once your requirement is done you can just stop it and you can use this 300 free gpu minutes also you can look at the billing so you know once you sign up for docker offload so using planning and billing you can constantly check what is your current utilization you can switch between different accounts that you have and you can see what is your current plan and what is your usage so i'll put the link in the description so that you can sign up for docker offload trust me this is a game changing feature because you don't have to worry about spinning up a virtual machine maintaining that virtual machine killing the virtual machine when you don't need it just with a toggle i don't even have to use the cli command just with the toggle i can any time switch to docker offload and i can move back to my regular docker environment i hope you found this video informative if you have any questions related to docker offload i'm more than happy to help if you find any issues with docker offload many of you know i am a docker captain so i can take your questions back to docker team and respond to your questions in case i cannot do it thank you so much for watching today's video see you all in the next one take care bye bye